by man stacks. He died as he lived, a little too goddamn fast. When I heard that he clipped the roundabout on his Indian chief motorbike and piled it into the timber yard, I like to think it was a last ditch attempt to build a stairway to heaven. Of course, we now know he was returning from home base where he'd been to pick up an extractor fund for the downstairs toilet, long requested by his devoted wife, Kath, and uh, I believe the two lodgers as well, quite keen on the idea. As ever, he wasn't thinking about himself, he was thinking about others. I remember one night, uh, we'd taken the mighty Jethro Tull around the States in 88. Every night, we packed away the flute, put that cob piece on the boil wash cycle. Anyway, there were two ladies in the backstage uh, hospitality suite. Uh, one of them looked a bit like a young Audrey Hepburn. The other had a face like a beekeeper's apprentice. Smashing says humour, but yeah, them was the breaks. Um, but uh, Stax just left a pretty one with me and he took a friend back to his book. I'll never forget him disappearing off down the corridor. I'm sorry. <clears throat> He just looked back and he said, Fill your boots, son. That's just the way he was. He jumped on the grenade every time. Perhaps I can finish by quoting the lyrics of his favourite song, Kashmir, by his beloved Led Zepp. Says it better than I ever could. O oh, father of the four winds, fill my sails. Across the sea of years, with no provision but an open face, among the straits of fear. Oh, when I'm on, when I'm on my way, yeah, when I see, when I see the way you stay, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm down, so down. Thanks, you've been a great audience, you've been great. Uh, Stax has left the building. You're on. <laughs>